Well, hello, everybody. This is definitely Anita in the Biz Coach coming back. Yeah, I believe that's who I am. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. I got it. <laughs> so look, I definitely wanted to be able to share this grant opportunity because it is actually um, the deadline to get the letter of interest of intent that LOI is due in a couple of days. So I'm going to be posting this up in my Facebook group and uh, hopefully get to send this to my email list of folks as well. So one way or the other, you will get this information or maybe even on some of my other personal uh, Facebook pages because I thought it was very, very interesting. So at first, when I was reading about it here on the first page of their website, I was like, oh, this might be kind of limited because it talks a lot about uh, access to justice and the justice system and um, just being able to, I guess, find things of legal matters, right? Um, so, because you see the three focus areas here. So once you read those, it says increasing access to justice, improvements of the justice system, and increasing public understanding of legal rights and responsibilities so people can recognize legal problems and know how to address them. All right. So I was like, hmm, I don't know. Let me read a little bit further. Let's do a little bit more digging, a little bit more research. So you have your times here uh, and the dates that everything is due. Like I said, you have to submit that LOI, that letter of intent by September 23rd. Which I, like I said, that's in a couple of days. Uh, and then if they invite you to the next phase, you would be invited to apply and submit your application. And that deadline is Friday, October 7th, 2022, okay? Uh, it gives you a little bit more information there about some different dates of awards and all of that. So, like I said, when I started doing a little bit more digging, I decided to go over here first. I said, okay, let's see who's already gotten some of the money from them. So we go here. And then we start looking at some of the organizations and um, groups that have received funding from them already. You start looking at some of the things that they've done. Now, this is a part of some of that research that I'm always talking about. It's very important to see what other type of funding they have given to other organizations. This can help you determine if anything that you're doing, your project, your programs, your activities would fall within some of the things they funded already. You can use some of the wording as well. You can get some good um, verbiage from some of these, um, you know, these outlines from organizations that have received funding from the foundation already, okay? So let's look a little bit deeper, do a little reading here. So this first one here says advocates for immigrant rights, and it tells you the states that it's covered there. And it says that uh, this project will expand Welcome South, a collaborative regional online immigration services platform that ensures services are not duplicative and that um, clients are not traumatized by retelling their stories and limiting resources are used efficiently. Okay. That doesn't sound like anything, you know, necessarily legal, but it is, you know, talking about the rights of uh, individuals and what have you. Um, let's see another one that might be a little bit different than legal services and things of that nature. Let's see here. This um, this one down here that says hands and voices. This is one I did read. It says this is a web-based educational advocacy intake tool in plain English and Spanish and is essential to connect parents of deaf or hard of hearing children with local free or low cost advocacy, legal services, resources, and support. All right, so the opportunity uh, for help them to support um, creation, the creation and including updating a critical guide that contains case law and ADA information. Um, and so that gets a little bit into some of the, you know, law about the ADA rights and things of that nature. But as you can see, this isn't necessarily have to do anything with the legal industry, right, uh, per se. Let's look at this one, Code the Dream. They gave them $25,000. Let's see what they did in collaboration with the Pennsylvania Farm Worker Project. This effort will update and enhance Vamos, uh, Vamos, uh, Vamos, as in Spanish, a unique mobile app 
that helps legal and social service organizations plan, conduct, track, and report farm worker outreach activities to improve client outcomes. And so this grant will help them support stipends for diverse and low income apprentices to develop the app's new features. And then you can always click on their links here to find out a little bit more. We won't go any further, but if you were, you know, wanted to and needed to know a little bit more about it, just to get a clearer understanding of what do they do to get this money? <laughs> what are they doing to get this money, right? You can do that. Okay, so as you can see, doing your research is very important when we're talking about these grants, uh, learning about those, like I said, that have received it already and more. All right, so let's look at the form that you would actually have to fill out. Let's take a quick look. All right, so they are, uh, most of this looks like you can just um, click in and type in, well, it's, this one is in a word, but if you open it up as a PDF, I'm sure, um, and this is in Microsoft online, and I'm not going to go into all of that, I'll do that, but it depends on how you download it, you should be able to fill it in, and if not, you can always print it out and fill in your information, okay? So a lot of these LOIs, these letters of intent, will ask you some of the same things that a grant will, okay? So it's asking here what the project name is. It's asking for, for a short project description in less than uh, or don't exceed 500 words. It's asking for your proposed project or program. It's asking also how is the uh, proposed program or project, you know, how is it innovative? So you have to describe that. There's quite a few questions here you have to go. Um, the amount requested, of course. What specific expenses will the grant that they would give you be used to support? They want you to be able to give that. Um, they have a Q&A document to, uh, for your expense exclusions to tell you what they don't find. So you definitely would have to review that. Have you received funding from them in the past? as the organization received the other uh, grant in the past. So they have a couple of grants, it looks like. Uh, also, principal contact for this. So whoever's um, going to be the contact for this application has to put all their personal information there so they can be reached. So it's not too bad, actually. So you just have to already have these things, you know, and hopefully you do. So you can go ahead and submit your LOI to see if you would qualify to get to the next stage for this grant, all right? So this is some good stuff, you guys, good stuff. So if you or anyone you know you think would uh, benefit from having this information, please, please pass it on. Uh, like I said, it's only two days to the deadline, so we want to get this information out and done as soon as possible. All right, ASAP, ASAP. Okay, well, uh, again, I appreciate you guys, and I hope this has been informative, and you know you can always reach me on social media as Anita N., the Biz Coach, and that'll be on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. So until next time, you guys, stay safe, take care.